Robert Helene is 26 and 2. It's giving a rematch to Yuri Bike Hahu at 10, 16, and 3. What in the fuck? In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well, you can hate him for not making that fight happen. But this is an unbiased show. We talk boxing. If it is just some missed details, the Double RT Boxing Show, Mr. A is here to help you because that's what we do. We talk that boxing, spit that fire on the internet, dragging on the net, hashtag dragging on the net. You know, follow me on at Twitter at RRTB Show. Double RT, Double RT, the Double RT Boxing Show with Mr. A. Yes, yes, yes. Robert Hellenius. Yes, the one who not too long ago was fighting Dylan White for this WBC Silver Heavyweight Championship. The good old Nordic Nightmare. He's giving a rematch to Yori. What is it? I try it one more time. Yori Bike How Usao. Bike How Usao. Might have murdered that name, but 10, 16, and 3. Bike How Usao. Yori Bike How Usao. Not their first fight was a split decision victory and an eight round decision for the Nordic Nightmare. This one, get this right, people. Get this right. Check this one out. This rematch is a six-rounder. What in the fuck, Nordic Nightmare? What are you doing to your career? And to be honest, this six-rounder is what scares me. Because I think if it was a longer fight, it would favor Yori. Because in an eight round fight, Yuri just put the pressure on him. You know, threw punches and barrage. And when Robert Hellenius wasn't picking him off with a jab, he was getting bombed on. He's trying to back up in a straight line, getting hit. Yuri put him against the ropes, was landing clean shots. Like I said, footwork, Yuri has better footwork. He, he's able to rush Robert Hellenius and put pressure on him. You know, closing the gap. Uh, obviously, Robert Hellenius could fight better on the back foot because he has a longer jab. But moving forward and side to side movement, Yuri has a better footwork. The defense, he's better defensively. He, he could do kind of a la Mike Tyson, low guard and just bully himself in and uh, eat punches on the forearm. And offensively, he's even. Robert Hellenius just ain't throwing the punches. He's just a jabbing, jabbing, and getting tired. He's occasionally, he throws a, a sloppy hook out there to pick him off. Like I said, if this fight was longer, I would easily go with Yori on this one. That's the sad part. That pressure, I think, just gets to, the pressure just breaks um, Nori Nightmare down. See, he learned his lesson from what was the scorecards on this first fight? Oh man, it was like I said, a split decision. The scorecards, they, they don't enlist them. Oh, 76 77, 76 78, 77 75. And then he went on to get knocked out in the sixth round against some opponent. And Robert Hellenius hasn't fought nobody. So he's coming off that. And that was earlier this year in March. So he lost to Hellenius, fought somebody in May. He stayed active, got knocked out, but he stayed active. And he's coming in a six round fight against Robert Hellenius. He knows he has to apply the pressure, and that's it. If he could apply the pressure, he could beat Robert Hellenius. 
it's, it's sad that I even have to think this long on this fight. It is very sad. This is the Double RT Boxing Show. I'm your host, Mr. A. Man, I wish this was a live chat. I, one day I'm going to go live chat, man, because I want to know what the hell you guys think of this fight. You know, I, I, I got to figure out what's a good... Well, it ain't really no good time for a live chat. I get off work, and all my time is like either... 10 30 11 p.m uh west coast california time usa that's why a lot of my videos are done over the midnight hours so that's probably like i think like nine o'clock maybe over uk so i don't know if i do start to go live it'll be uh west coast california time maybe like two in the morning east coast so it's, it's a, it'll be a weird i'll be a fucking late night boxing show hope you, you know one day we'll see we'll see i'm gonna go i lean with the nordic nightmare man even though i'm not too confident in this pick i think that's why he took a six rounder because eight rounders he knew he was getting his ass whooped he he could he could get him in six we're gonna we're gonna go robert the nordic nightmare has enough energy to last six rounds to pick him off so sad, so sad. Double RT Boxing Show. Follow me at Twitter at the RRTB Show. Please hit the thumbs up, subscribe, get that 380 count to 500, and we'll talk from there. Thank you guys.